it's kind of loud, but I like other loud noises to happen, so my voice is a little to compete with. Because that's, I have middle children syndrome.
things do get better, no matter what it is, even if it's a little bit, there's always like that okay place where you're okay, and you're always gonna be okay. Don't let yourself dip down into the underneath okay line. Gonna end up back here, so like, what's the point of going down there? Just, just, just stay neutral, save your goddamn money. You save your money. There's always, always, always gonna be things that come up. There's always something like every month. You know, there's gonna be like a party you want to go to, there's gonna be a holiday that you want to spend money for, but there's always gonna be something. Every weekend, people have things planned, like, yes. Yes, you want to be young and you want to have fun, but it's really going to pay off and you're really going to thank yourself later when you saved all that money instead of going out somewhere and getting drunk. This isn't really something that I wish I did. Just kind of a piece of advice. Don't sit back and wait for things to come to you, whether it's a job you want or a dream that you're don't sit back and wait for things, but also don't force everything. Don't force every single little job. Don't force things to happen. Time, this is the time that everything's supposed to happen, so I'm gonna force everything to happen right now because this is when I think it should happen. You usually feel better when it just happens naturally. This could uh, apply to many, many things. Okay. You feel. Gather all your talent and everything you have to offer up. Gather it all up and then just set it out there. But make sure you leave a line attached. You know, just see what bites. Every bite that you get may not be the right one. <sighs> Some things aren't meant to be, but um, you know, at least you can tell yourself that you did everything that you possibly could. This will not apply to every person, but you know, maybe don't get a puppy. Don't. Don't. It's almost gonna be a year since I got my puppy. Insert many pictures everywhere. If you truly love your dog, like if people are crazy about their dog like I am, a lot of the decisions that you make now involve your dog. Because it's your dog. And also, he hasn't been in my life for like 10 of those months out of the 12. That is ridiculous. And he's still my dog, and I'm still planning my whole life with him in it. I've been trying to find a place where we can have dogs. And that is one of the most difficult things I've ever had to do. And we actually did it. And now I don't have a job. And now I probably won't be able to afford this place. So maybe like don't get a puppy when you're 18 and you're kind of sad because you just left home. And these beautiful puppies are like, um, at a good price, $600. You know what $600 could get me right now? Rent. But I don't regret it at all. He is like the light of my life. So get a puppy. Maybe you don't get a puppy, get a puppy. I mean, don't. I mean, it's all up to... It's up to you. Save your freaking money. Save your money. <laughs> Listen to people who know more than you. People will tell you, sort of, what to do or which path to take subtly. That's what I've learned. Because when things happen and I go, oh fuck, like, things aren't going well with my roommate, people will be like, yeah, I kind of warned you about that. Or I kind of, you know, hinted at you that maybe that's not like the best idea. It doesn't matter with an age, gender, like if you know that that person probably knows more, more than you, um, listen to them. Unless your gut is telling you something, then listen to her because I feel like your gut and your heart know the right path to take you. Your brain is fucking stupid and probably won't give you the right, won't tell you the right thing. So don't listen to that. If you really have no idea what you want to do, it's okay. There are probably things that you like to do. 
or hobbies of some sort that you actually want to do, then do them. If you don't know what to do career-wise, then that's okay. I mean, you still have time to figure it out. If you like drawing, if you like music, if you like filming yourself, talking like an idiot, doing stupid things, do that. You may not be making money and but it, at least you feel good. And at least you like at least you know. So I kinda wish I spent more time with my parents before I left home. This is usually how it goes. The whole time you're in high school, all you can think is that you can't freaking wait to leave, like or even you don't have the best relationship with one or both or neither of your parents. But you just want to get out of there. And it doesn't even matter where you're going. You just want to leave. Your parents really do become some of your closest friends when you get older. You will understand them way better when you get older. And I find myself thinking, my God, I'm turning into my mother. Many times a day I think that. So, I feel like, I feel like my father too sometimes. Just think about that the next time you're like, oh, I just want to leave this fucking house. This house is a fucking nightmare. Like, you just want to leave. You just want to graduate and leave and be your own person and blah, 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 blah. You're going to need those people that are annoying you so bad. So much more than you think. You're going to figure out that you don't need your friends that you were once friends with, like in high school and all this stuff. I find for myself, I feel like I don't need a lot of people. There's a few people that I like need. And there's also a thing when you miss people. Because when you get older and you have friends, you're not gonna see each other every day. And sometimes you do, and then you don't see each other for a very long time. And it's just like the same. That's when you know those certain people are the ones that you actually care about or the ones that you actually know, want in your life. Should I touch base on like relationships? I think this is me about to say I wish I did have a boyfriend or did have a relationship before I left home because no I wish I didn't want one so bad like a high school relationship or a high school whatever the fuck fucking stupid whatever because honestly it doesn't fucking matter I mean being alone is like whatever it's not what you should be focused on when you're leaving home like people should not be focused on like oh my god i have to break up my quarterback right now i can't wait to sleep with a bunch of college guys in college and do college things no don't think about that think about like what you want for yourself focus on your studies or whatever and have fun with your friends friends last longer than relationships Kind of, sort of. Have friends, maybe make out with your friends. I don't know, that's what you want to do. Do that. Shake hands. I don't know how human contact works, really. But if that's what you want to do, do that. <laughs> Let me get closer. I hope this little, like, video helped with anybody else that is ready, ready to leave home. You're never gonna be ready. And like, you're probably gonna wanna go back. But like, don't, don't stick it out. Keep moving forward, crawling over that broken glass. Because if you move backwards, it's probably just gonna hurt a lot more, so you might as well just go forward. You're gonna have a lot of cuts and shit, but like, scars are hot. Scars and dark eyes and tattoos. Anyways, yes, good luck. Good luck with your life. Uh, don't do what I did or do what I did. But I seem pretty okay to you. <laughs> Should I not say that? And that's how I get scoliosis.